In this video, I'm going to walk through a series of steps and find the exact value for the sine of 6 degrees. And so I'm going to use two other values here, the sine of 36 and the sine of 54, both of which I've worked out in other videos, and those videos have links down in the video description here, so you can go see those if you like. I'm not going to rework the entire thing here. But we're going to find the sine of 6 degrees by using the difference formula for sine. So it looks like we need four values here, and so we need A and B. And so the A and the B value that we're going to use, we're going to use 60 degrees minus 54 degrees. And of course, 60 minus 54 is our 6 degrees. So when I put this into the formula, it ends up being the sine of 60 degrees times the cosine of 54 degrees minus the sine of 54 degrees times the cosine of 60 degrees, okay? Well, the sine of 60 and the cosine of 60 are really nice values. We definitely know what those are. But the cosine of 54, uh, because of the relationship that sine and cosine have with complementary angles, I'm going to go ahead and change that cosine of 54 to the sine of 36 degrees, which I have the value for right there. And then, of course, you'll see the sine of 54 is also up here. So let's go ahead and start plugging these values in. The sine of 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. And we're going to multiply that by the sine of 36, which is the square root of 2 over 4 times. And then we have this square root expression here. And from that, we're going to subtract the sine of 54, which is this 1 fourth times the square root of 5 plus 1, times the cosine of 60, which is 1 half. Okay, so this isn't so bad. So there's a few things we could uh, consider doing. Let's go ahead and multiply here first, and then we can multiply here. So it looks like we'll have the square root of 6 over 8, and then times this square root expression minus, and it looks like 1 eighth times the square root of 5 plus 1. So we're saying that looks like a pretty good uh, expression here for the sine of 6 degrees. Okay, not a lot uh, of other simplification we can do. So at this point, let's go ahead and grab our calculator and kind of see if this works out. Okay, so we're going to say the inverse sine, and we'll put this ratio in there. So we have first the square root of 6 divided by 8, and I'm going to multiply that by the square root expression that I have there. And then from that, I'm going to subtract, let's see, this 1 eighth uh, multiplied by the square root of 5 plus 1. And close off those parentheses, and it equals a 6 degrees. So it does work. Okay, so here we have seen that uh, we have the exact value then for the sine of 6 degrees. And we worked that out using the difference formula for sine. And we did have to include two other values that we had found in a previous video. And again, those are linked down in the video description.